Good morning all. <clears throat> Hope you're well. I'm keeping you safe. Um, just out here in the garden, very early in the morning, uh, listening to the birds and um, thought I'd share that with you guys. And also the flip through of the eighth in the collection, uh, the Venetian Rose Collection uh, journals. And this is the very stuffed traveller's notebook and we've called her Rosa because that's what she's called on the inside um, title cover. And um, so it's traveller's notebook, standard size, um, very much inspired by the uh, YouTube uh, journal artist um, Sheena from Luna Rose, Luna Rose on YouTube. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, link her video below in my YouTube uh, video so you can have a good look at what she does um, but she does um, specializes really in these beautifully fully stuffed um, notebooks uh, traveler's notebooks with lots of fabrics lots of bling and jewelry and stuffed with vintage things and I just love watching what she does and thought that some of these papers that I was working with would lend themselves to something similar. So here we have it. Here we have Rosa. And um, so she is um, covered. The cover is from the Stamperia papers. And I've sewn some um, sari silk on the bottom here. She has fabric on the inside and outside. So that's lining the spine, but also a doily, um, a vintage doily across the, the spine. I don't know if you can see just how beautiful this paper is. So it starts off really, um, she's got the bejeweled um, card in the front. Now to make it easier to actually, um, you can see that. To make it easier to write, um, this is a little pocket that flips open like this. It's very Sheena. This, um, she, most of her work features a pocket. And uh, what I've done with that is I've stuffed it filled. So I've filled it, um, that's the card with this beautiful, it actually I haven't taken it to bits. Um, so it's, it's a little necklace and it's still um, whole if you wanted to just uh, lick it and use it for yourself you can do that um, so that's a little removable card and just some bits and pieces from a uh, vintage postcard this little beauty is from uh, my nostalgia set and a little book um, oh you know one of these so when you open her up like so, so you a little uh, talk, uh, pocket tuck there, uh, you can take these out and put something else in the fridge you wish, and that is basically the front. So you've got the um, little, um, I can't speak it so early, uh, yeah, so you've got that on there, and that's called Rosa, if you can see, the uh, paper is named Rosa on that side, so let's get going, let's get, let's get in. I might not take everything out guys. So I popped another doily on the inside. And um, so she's got a little tuck here. A little, uh, I love this vintage Vogue. Um, what's the word? Cover uh, postcard. And so we have lace and ribbon. Well, it's like a ribbon trim on the front. And then when you open her up, I just sewn a little bit of... Um, What's the word? I don't know if I've done it this way. I don't remember which way I've done it now. Oh yeah, that's the way this one opens up, like so. So um, quite bulky at the moment, guys. To be fair, but most of the um, ephemera comes out, so you can thin it down should you wish. So I've done this. I've done one. Um, sheet of paper uh, of the cardstock but then I've reinforced it with this on the front so it's quite solid and it's quite solid and on the back as well a little bit of Liberty print um, on there Liberty print fabric Liberties of London which I absolutely love and I haven't got much left of it now to be honest so um, just little snippets here and there so 
that's just tucked into that little gallery page there. Uh, this is from my vintage botanical book, which I love. And some of the labels from Nikki Adogun. Uh, Musings by Nikki, I think it's on Etsy. And uh, her grungy um, label. So I've sewn this um, vintage sort of centre table piece here. Or was it a napkin? I can't remember now. I've got a little set of them, different sizes. So I've sewn it down, and then what I've done is I've popped some little bits and pieces. That's just a little card. But this lovely little piece is from, um, it's a vintage French um, magazine page from Sharika. Um, um, uh, Postal Love. And on an X. Uh, Instagram, yes, and she has an Etsy store too. So if you can, you hear the birds? They're really going for it this morning. Put new feeder up, and the garden is very busy. So this here, I love. This was from another um, uh, Stamperia paper pad called Atelier, and um, I just love the way it's got texture on it. So when I was trying not to add too much more texture after adding fabrics and things, that's a lovely alternative. And a little sticker for my vintage ephemera box from Rosie at our atelier. Just a little um, ads that I have in my, I won't take them all out, I have in my, um, uh, stash is the word. And um, I've just popped it on with a little, um, so this little sparkly eyelash trim which is gorgeous um also on the map page here i've sewn on a pocket with some lace not vintage lace this piece but pretty nonetheless um, i've just popped some little bits in as you can see a vintage ticket london transport country uh, buses from that was from um, sharika as well a uh, little tag and just a little card these are beautiful front and back actually beautiful front and back and as in the treasures journal I have if I found a little uh, piece for my art book if you can see how pretty that looks a little piece for my art book that I popped in there um, which I love and these are dotted throughout the last three journals oh sorry right a little bit of upholstery fabric here and this is from one of the furnishing books that I've been I was dabbling with a few weeks ago making a traveller's notebook um, just a, a fun lockdown share really I need to do the journal cards when I get the time it's been so manic so that was beautiful I just love it I just love it love 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 and so I just popped it in just because it's nice <laughs> no other reason just because I love it I like the way it goes with the writing paper here on that side and with the greetings card on this side. A circle cut out. A little piece, um, this is from the Observer's Book of Architecture that features throughout the collection. And oh, yes, on here, um, I've just popped on this little teardrop paper clip. And I've done some of these. I've just cut out of the observers, not observers, my art book, and I couldn't figure out which one I liked the best, so I've popped it in as is, so you can take it out, put it somewhere else. And I do have a little uh, vintage postcard here that was from, um, mm, and I've just popped a bit of fabric on because I just like the way it looked uh, from Sharika as well. Um, wow, garden book. Garden page, but I love it. I love it. Look, just how beautiful is that? I love ferns and like mm, courtyard gardens because mine, mine, mine is a courtyard garden with little pots and things, and it's lovely. Um, this fabric is like um, like almost a retro travel themed dress fabric. It's beautiful. So I've just done a little ruffle there. with a huge, um, what's that called again, a um, teardrop, 
and that's on the from the atelier again and I've basically popped in a little piece of a um, a vintage book page French from um, Sharika and this little beauty is from the uh, paper pad from the cover anyway there you go guys so a little bit of wrapping paper here I've used that throughout I've just got a couple of sheets left and I just love it Vintage postage stamp, just a bit of layering. Love this image, I love the colours in it. Pop a little bit of um, sari silk on the top and some vintage fabric from a little bag that I picked up at a charity shop a little while ago now. Um, and um, so I'm just using some of the scraps from that. And um, I don't get too much of a distraction from all the other pages, that's better. This is from a, what's the word, a little embroidery book that I have, and I just loved the way it sat there, so I kind of folded it in a, in a funny foldy way, just to fit it into that page, and that's the other, uh, other side of um, the like, travel themed fabric with all the postage stamps on and stuff. Just popped it on there, if you can see that. How lovely that is. That's from the vintage um, exercise book. Uh, that was really vintage. It's a lovely feel to this paper. And that's from um, Sharika as well. And um, I've popped in another label. But um, I have these beautiful, beautiful washi of different windows and balconies. And I've featured them very heavily in the other Traveller's Notebook. That's the washi. So I've popped a few in here, but I just love that. And this is from, um, this uh, little piece is just from some, uh, it's architecture drawings from Graphics Fairy. And I liked it um, in here and in the other as well, which is doing some balconies. A little bit of fabric, a poultry fabric, and I have popped in here. I have popped in here just a little card, just a little card, and I pop that there and onto that map page. That's from it's not vintage; it's from uh, my vintage ephemera box, and I thought it looked nice. Let me just oh, I'll fiddle with that a bit later. Let's pop that there, and I'll remember where to put it. That's velvet, so it, it feels lovely to the touch. Look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful washi. How lovely is that? How good. I don't know, the lights, it's a bit cloudy out here today. And through my sort of phone lens, it looks a bit like it's got a creamy, funny, I don't know, colour. I don't know how this is going to turn out all over the, the, in the screen. Anyway, little jewellery piece here on this teardrop, um, paper clip cluster I love and this is quite a, oh yes let's show you this there you go so on this one we have these beautiful this little bit there and the green I love that green and how it sits with the green on the picture here that's a famous um, oh, Venetian art piece basically what have I popped in there a piece of it's French and it's to do with language is it that I was I can't remember I, this was from Sharika, uh, Sharika or mine I'm not sure this is from my nostalgia collection and it's it's written on the back so you've got actually the um, all the information cover it over should you wish to write on it or pop it into something else should you wish to do that also Oh, now I, I just found this and I thought well I'll fling it in because I couldn't remember what I'd done with them. Nice little fit in there. This is kind of mm, Royal Lancaster Hotel London. It's probably 70s or 80s maybe. I don't know. Had it in my stash anyway. Kind of tucked 
away. Might just go and sit there. This is the um, the jeweled um, embellished envelope that we did. I got in there. I'm gonna take it all out. I'm gonna put some uh, pretty paper, some bits and pieces in there for you. And on the back, um, I have just popped a little piece in from my nostalgia collection. And um, oh, and a piece from the uh, paper pad. A rosa piece. went like this didn't it but oh yes that did go like that let's do that um a little have i done that it's a little yep pull that out oh, that's really quite sweet and i've just put a little very old is that the queen's dad i think it is isn't it um just tuck that on this on the top there This paper from my uh, stash, like a little magazine that I had. This is lovely. And you see what I mean about this kind of retro 60s kind of, mm, you know, travel thing. Big stamps and lots of colour. I've had that in my... I wanted to make some travellers notebooks ages ago. Covers and I popped... Um, anyway... So um, it's that, a little bit of fabric from um, a bag, a charity shop goodie bag that I picked up and this is just a piece of sari silk that I just stapled on in the end because I thought it looked pretty. It looked pretty. I love this image. Just how beautiful is that? Anyway, that's from a little, furni um, little furnishings sort of catalogue thing that I had. A little cluster here. Isn't that beautiful? And I popped, I did, I was experimenting with some of the architectural pieces from the graphics fairy on some tracing paper. Uh, this didn't come out as, as clear, as crisp as I wanted. It's tracing paper, but it kind of bled a little. But you know, I, I popped it in, so I like the, the effect with that, with the effect on, on the, with the washes. So I popped it in there, because I thought it looked quite nice. I love this um, garden piece, reminds me of mine. And I thought that was quite a nice little architectural piece to go with these two from the Observer's book. Uh, this little piece here is from uh, the Atelier. Uh, what's the word? What's the word I want in my head? Paper pack. pack. And I put, popped it in as a little tuck. And that is beautiful. That is lovely. And then on the back, what have I got? Lovely piece of upholstery fabric. I just like the, the feel of that. I like the colours here. Oh yes, I popped another little tuck. And it's over the page tuck. And it's got this beautiful teardrop thingy here. And what have I popped in there then? What have I popped in here? Let's take you out see what I've popped in. So, 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 so. We have... Oh, this is um, is that from? Oh, this is one of my collections. It's a reprint. Re it's not a vintage vintage. It's a reprint of a vintage postcard, but I love it. And this is from my 1932 dictionary. I pop that in on that side. And on this side, what have I got? Oh yes, I've done like a what's his name? A little tuck spot here with this lace, and it's got a picture of um. Bath, the, uh, the Roman baths, um, the city of Bath, that is, um, which is a lovely day out actually. It's a beautiful, beautiful city, fabulous shopping. You can have afternoon tea, I think I think we had lunch at the pump room. Nice place to meet up with your girlfriends. 
That's the nostalgia collection. And I just put the sheer in, pinking shears, is it, on it? Make it look like a little stamp, I thought. So let's put that aside. I love this for my um, art book, and I didn't know. Um, I, it, I found it after I'd sewn everything in, but I thought I'd do like an over page flip with it. How lovely are those colours? How atmospheric. Look at this little lady. And the children. Can you see how lovely that is? So I haven't rushed through this video, guys. I don't know how long it's going to take me to upload. But um, another little gorgeous dangle here. And that's from the paper pad as well. So we've got that, that, and that. It's not taking them all out. Yeah, just, this all comes out. This all comes out. So, you know, yeah, we'll talk. So it just gives you an idea that you can reduce the bulk should you wish to. Should you wish to reduce the bulk, you can do. Okay. Um, and pop these somewhere else and pop some other things in here if you like so so the back I've done um, the spine on the inside just with some muslin and I've reinforced again with um, the uh, what's the word doily and um, so with this second layer it's quite sturdy reinforce the edge with uh, some more um, scrapbook paper and lace and that's the back so here we have Rosa I do hope you enjoy um, whoever it is who would like to own give her a good home enjoy popping your memories gems, song lyrics, poetry all sorts on Instagram um, people were saying they would use a journal like this for and I found it really nice to get that sort of feedback um, so uh, the next one I'll be doing is balcony that will be the final of the collection enjoyed doing these and now I must rush off and just finish the um, uh, a lovely journal for Pammy who's been waiting very patiently a lovely botanical so um, thanks guys take care bye bye bye